What's up beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Johan from Ashfir Gracian and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a you know, creative photo manipulation just like Brian Adam Mug, who is a very famous you know YouTuber as well as a creative Instagram profile. So kindly do follow him on Instagram as well as in this video I'll show you how you can you know create a cinematic color grading by changing the background in your photograph and just make your Instagram profile to a kind of you know, creative and an adorable look before any further ado let's jump to the video till then guys be creative and be awesome So guys, the very first thing all we're gonna do is let's crop the images for our Instagram upload. So select the 8 is to 10 ratio which is the Instagram ratio. So we're gonna just crop it and just adjust them perfectly in whatever kind of you know you want your subject or the model image on whatever kind of canvas you can just you know use and just select it in such a way and just hit OK when you are done. Now let's select the subject or the model image by using the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon to make it selected in a perfect way. You can either use you know pen tool to select your photos also. But to you know keenly edit your photo you can just use pen tool. I have already made a selection of the layer so just right click on it and select the layer or copy option to make a duplication of the selection or right click press ctrl J. Now we're gonna add the background in this photograph so let's go to the file click on open and let's just browse the background this background file you can just you know download it from the links down even in the description <laughs> so here is the background now all you have to do is just drag it and drop over here it's kind of very simple you can also you know paste by you know Control A and Control C also. Now press Control T in order to you know transform the selection or the image of the background. And just press Shift and Alt key to you know perfectly enlarge the image. Until you are you know you have a perfect you know perspective in the background you can just adjust the background in such a way now i gonna you know just more make some crop of the image so let's just select the crop tool and again let's just decrease some canvas size of the image and just make it hit ok now this one would be pretty much perfect for our instagram ratio or the uploads now the next thing we're gonna do is let's just select this portion from here select the pen tool and here it was selection was remaining so we're gonna just use the pen tool and just hit control and enter key and just delete button to delete that subject or the selection where you have selected now the next thing we're gonna do is just select the blur tool and just start blurring the edges of the you know model image which you have you know made a selection this will actually you know make your photograph to look more and more realistic so no one would be able to identify whether your photo is edited or the really captured from the camera so this is the process which you have to do that is the blurring of the edges on every corner or the of the every side of the you know model image on the hand region or just you have to leave the hairs other old thing you have to make it blur so that you know it would be matched with the background So finally here we have made a perfect selection and just made a perfect blurring on the image. Now this one is looking kind of very cool. So just all you have to do is go to the filter, select the blur gallery and select the tilt shift often because we're gonna blur the you know, background. In order to get a perfect real look we're gonna just select the you know instead of Gaussian blur we are going to select you know tilt shift option because we want some kind of details on the uh, you know forward region or the area where the subject is standing so it should be look more realistic so we're gonna use this blur type 
Now just add some blur, don't add too much of blur otherwise your photograph will look unreal. So just add a little bit of blurring over there. We don't you know, blur such a way that your background should not look. So just blur it in a little bit away. Now this one is looking kind of very cool now we all we're gonna do is let's just add some first of all duplicate the subject layer and just make the blending option and select the soft light and just decrease the opacity of this and in order to get a perfect depthness on the image to enhance the photograph we're gonna use this soft light now just merge both the layers and make the opacity to around you know 48% now just delete it from the hair region where you don't want that soft light effect you have you have to you know need that uh, details here of the subject so just delete it from there by using the you know erasing it from there now all you have to do is uh, just go to the file and open and just add some kind of you know falling leaf particles from there and just add the kind of you know very falling autumn leaf like you know photo or the PNG file to make it look more and more you know creative and kind of very cinematic moody tone look like a very trending Instagram photos just drag and drop over here okay and just make it more as you can see you can erase it from the area where you don't want and you can just keep it from there where you want it is totally up to you so you can adjust everything from here you can use the eraser tool to delete some unwanted you know leaf and also the particles of the falling leaf just adjust in in the way where you want it is totally up to you now you can add uh, you know gaussian blur and just make it on the forward about the subject layer to get that perfect you know very much realistic particles look so just keep that in the uh, front portion of the image You can increase the size of the particles and just adjust anywhere of somewhere over here. Now just duplicate the background layer and again let's add some more blur to the photograph because I want some more blurring on this portion so we're gonna add the uh, you know a blur gallery and the tilt shift blur over here. So just add a blur over here and just hit OK until you are done. Now just merge all the layers and just select the crop tool and just crop the image. Now let's go to the filter and select the camera filter. We have opened the you know, camera preset or the camera filter. Now you can also apply some kind of filter otherwise you can just add the adjust them manually this adjustment so select the contrast add a little bit of you know contrast and let's decrease the highlights <laughs> you can just play with this all adjustment according to your photos it is totally up to you now add some kind of you know shadow increase some shadows now add a vignette effect on the image in order to give that kind of you know black like moody look to the photograph so just add a little bit of you know vignette effect on the image now just go to the effects or the calibration tab and just add a primary color to kind of you know minus 25 or minus 30 would be pretty much perfect and you can always play with this curves and see what looks good go to the HSL tab select the orange and just make it to kind of you know, perfect skin tone 
you can just adjust in such a way that until your skin tone get a perfect you know perfect color which original skin tone does have so you can always adjust it from this hue of this red and orange curves or the tone tone curves by adjusting the saturation also the hue so here you can see we have almost achieved a perfect skin tone which we actually want you can still more adjust it from here the color effect of the yellow stone so I'm gonna reduce or the green color here actually there is no green so you can just play and see how it actually looking you can also use the aqua color and let's see how this photo or the it is actually looking now select the RGB curve and and just add a kind of you know matte effect on the image by using the one point over here and just adjust adjust it from there and add some kind of you know highlights and just go to the saturation just decrease or increase some kind of you know saturation over here and let's add some kind of you know shadows also to kind of you know bluish look let's add some saturation to kind of you know blue tone which will actually make it look more amazing let's add some kind of you know shadows that would be a kind of you know blue tone would be pretty much perfect or a kind of you know yellowish brown tone you can see it from here which is actually looking as best suitable for your image you can just keep it from here according to me here the brownish red color is actually looking pretty much perfect because this is the pure theme of autumn so i'll just keep it that i increase some kind of you know clarity and just decrease some kind of blackness from here you can play with the white color also let's increase the you know clarity to plus 12 would be your pretty much perfect you can decrease some vibrance and just hit ok so finally guys we have edited or the completed our process of editing a perfect photo just like you know brian adamuk inspired you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after here's the before and here is the after it is really looking guys very very amazing so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just hit the like button and if you still not subscribed then subscribe and Hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets. Also visit our website that is www.ashwircreations.com From there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, mobile lightroom preset, loots and many more cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. So guys go and check it out that website and also do, guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also guys we are gonna launch our second website that is www.filterpreset.com So guys stay tuned on that website also. So guys thank you for watching.